Welcome, everyone. So I'm Ben, as Telemon just introduced me. Um, but let's just go ahead and get right into it. So at Roblox, we had a problem, a couple problems. Um, and first, I'll, I'll ask you, because probably you've run into them. How many of you have run out of blocks when creating a level? Anyone? Anyone? OK, good. There's some hands. Um, how many of you thought you wish your levels were bigger, like they were too small, and you ran to the edge, and that just wasn't enough? Well, we wanted to fix these problems. So to give you an example of the history of Roblox and level size, our first multiplayer level crossroads is about 2,000 parts. So pretty small by standards today. Larger levels, Brimstone Garden, maybe some of you have seen it. It's pretty big, it's pretty complicated. That's 10,000 parts. And even bigger is the Eiffel Tower level. If you've done the climb the Eiffel Tower, that's 15,000 parts. But none of these are really big enough. We need to do bigger than this grander, more complicated. So the history, over about five years, we've gone from about 2,000 parts to about 15,000 parts. So we've done good improvement, but we need to do better. So we had Telemon build us a jet, and he's going to show us what we've come up with to fix this. So he fires it up. And now you can see the level. It is huge. And what's important to note is all of the terrain, every little piece is individual parts. So each of these parts you can fly over, you can fly through, you can collide with it in physics. And more importantly, during the game, you can destroy it. So we can drop bombs, create craters, throw up parts. Yeah. And you can explode yourself. We also made a death laser. So you can see we can carve holes straight through the terrain. Telemon shows us the other side. And now I think he's going to come up to this hole and see if he can fly through. And you can see all those individual parts bouncing in there, colliding. But he doesn't make it. So he gets out. But here, he'll really show you how big this terrain is when you walk through it. So it's, it's much more massive. Like, you could fit levels that are created in Roblox now in that hole. And to give you an example, as he flies over to a corner, in this one small corner of the terrain is Crossroads. So this whole expanse actually can fit 16 crossroads inside of it. So that, that's the solution. So to compare, the terrain demo here is about 7 million parts. And if you actually pushed our terrain as we have it right now, you can get to about 16 million parts. So some fun facts about it. If you were to get out and just walk from end to end, it would take you three minutes to get across. So if you can imagine the levels you could create with that. In graphics terms, there's about 1.6 million triangles creating that terrain. And even better, it's automatically culled to adjust to your system. So no matter what machine you're running on, you'll still be able to use the terrain. And now I'm going to pass it to Simon to answer this question for you. OK, thanks. So if you guys like it, let's find out how to create one. It's actually really easy. So most of the work will be done for you. Come on. OK. So Studio will have a new toolbar that's just, just for terrain generation. New icons, and you'll start by generating terrain by clicking on the first one. And when you do that, you have a couple of options. And when you generate, it actually generates the, most of the terrain. 
It takes it a while because it actually generating millions of blocks. And as you can see, the terrain is smooth. It's not just blocky. We insert special types of blocks called wedges that are designed so they connect with each other. So the resulting terrain feels really smooth. Now, if you start tweaking these parameters, you'll get very different type of the terrain. Now we're making it more hilly. So see, the terrain is very different. Here you can still walk up all of the hills with just the character, because they're smooth, so like you have the angle to get across. But you can push it. If you change amplitude and frequency to the max, that we'll get some real mountains. So see, these things are like nowhere close to the hilly terrain that we had before. You see a lot of dirt. It's not always grassy. And for this kind of terrain, you can't just easily walk across it. You need some kind of vehicles or, or planes to get out of it. And you can build a game around it. Because all of this, you can add it in real time. So once you've got your basic terrain, you can micro edit and make it exactly what, what, what you want in game. And you have a bunch of tools for that. So the easiest one is just creating blocks. And see, as you create blocks, we're smoothening them automatically for you. So you can just do any form that you like, and we'll make it look good. And obviously, not only can you create blocks, you can remove blocks. And smoothing will, will be applied automatically. And since it's all real blocks, you can destroy as many of them as you like and build underground caves and tunnels. Now, after this, we have some global scale tools. So for example, this one elevates a lot of terrain in just one click. And those tools, they come with the special uh, sliders, so you can make the effect larger. For example, now we're elevating a huge amount of terrain. You can make plateaus. Again, this takes a while because they work on so many blocks. But it's super easy to create a flat surface. You can make craters. And you can adjust the size of the crater and depth of the crater as well. So for example, now we're going to make a really big one. This is like instantly making a crater the size of crossroads. And you have the opposite. You can make the sphere, like spheres on top of the terrain. And you control them as well with like how big they are, how much do they elevate. So with this, you can make a very cool terrain level in just no time. Now, so what you can do with this? What, you, what kind of games you can create with this? Of course, you can do mining games, which are pretty popular on Roblox. Uh, you can do awesome flight sims like the one that we showed you, but better, with like multiple planes destroying the terrain. Imagine like a shooter game where there's a hill and you can storm it, and all of the grenades that you're throwing out are actually destroying the terrain and like changing the configuration as you, as you move. We'll get to the questions. Uh, you can huge, do huge underground places, and freestyle building is going to be way more fun than ever. Like just. 10 people or 20 people shaping things out of the terrain, any form and any size that you like. But ultimately, it's up to you guys. It's just a couple of ideas that we have, and I bet you'll come up with something incredibly more awesome and completely unexpected. So essentially, what we're saying is imagine all of the blocks that used to do this kind of terrain is free. And just knock yourself out with this. So what are we planning next for the terrain? Of course, all of this is very experimental, but looking forward, we're planning to do more materials, not just grass, but like stone, roads, plastic, all kind of stuff. Uh, more, sh more shapes of the blocks, more tools to edit the terrain, and more interesting stuff. Terrain could allow us to get dynamic lighting, meaning we have more, a lot of lights. They're all just work on small part of the terrain instead of doing globally. So that's going to be pretty exciting. We can make terrain infinite. Currently, it's pretty big, but there's, you see the boundaries of it. We, we can consider creating the terrain as you go, as you get to the edge of, uh, like the, edge of the world, so like, you never run out of it. We can give you terrain-like parts to place in the world. So for example, you, have multi, you can have multiple terrains, or instead of the terrain, make it a ship, 
or a, like a spaceship or a huge uh, like block that's floating and changing or a building on top of the terrain. Well, ultimately, it's whatever you guys say you want. Like Roblox is all about builders, so anything that you want to be changed or tweaked in the terrain to allow you guys to make awesome games, we'll do it. And here's a little revised chart of block count history in Roblox. Now it's in millions. With that, any questions? All right, guys. Um, we have two stand mics set up in the aisles if you guys want to line up behind them to ask questions so everyone can hear what you're saying. And we will direct these questions to Simon and Ben. We have about four minutes for questions, and then we're going to bring on the next talk. Um, it's pretty good. All right, let's start with the left mic. Um, is this how you make Roblox so addicting? Because like, when I first started Roblox, it was like this fun thing. But then I've played other games. And it's like, I'll play a virtual word world for a minute or so, maybe a day. And then I'll just like, eh, this is stupid. And then I, I started Roblox like two years ago. And I have not been able to leave of it. <laughs> it, sorry. So to paraphrase, is the question, why is Roblox so addicting? Is that fair to say? Um, I think there's a couple of ideas. I, th I think it's because the content is continually fresh because Roblox is made by you, the players. There are actually more levels being uploaded to Roblox faster than you could join them. So there are more games on Roblox than you will ever play um, or ever could play. So in, in one sense, I think that speaks to the, the freshness of the content produced by the players. But the other thing is that we're constantly producing new updates to Roblox, like this fabulous one that Simon and Ben have been working on. Um, so the game is also never really done, and I think that probably contributes to our success. Yeah, and I think it's just because Roblox is awesome. How about uh, the right mic over here? Will any of these features be accessible through scripting? Simon. Oh, yes. All of this is accessible through scripting. For the experienced scripters out there, when we release that, look for terrain service. Actually, uh, stick around for the next demo, and we'll show you some stuff. Uh, left hand side over here. Okay. Okay. Um, do a lot of I do a lot of famous places use the terrain generator. Like I've played Kingdom Life Two by Boopod like a thousand times, and I look in the bricks and notice that it could be possibly almost made of all terrain. It's kind of half and half. You you can like do that right, or you can do. The, Mainly bricks or little terrain, yeah, stuff like that. Um, you can do so, that, right? So currently, none of the games on Roblox use terrain generation. This is the experimental feature that we're working behind the scenes and never actually shown. Like you guys are the first who saw it ever. Now, with the terrain, all of the all of these games like that will be infinitely faster, deeper, and cooler to play. It allows you to have so many blocks compared to what Roblox currently has. I hope that answers that. We're going to move on to the next talk, I think.